Hi Pisces, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to all my subscribers and if you're new here, a very warm welcome to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would really help me out a lot. So, let's see what messages we have got for Pisces, please. What is it that our Pisces collective needs to know for their highest good? Pisces. Starting off with the Guardian of Hearts. You can have a look at that card. Beautiful card. So this is the King of Hearts. Cups in the traditional deck. <clears throat> so this is all about emotional intelligence. Being calm in the face of turmoil. He also likes to help those that are in need. Now this could be you Pisces, uh, male or female, doesn't matter. They actually depicted the king of hearts here as a mermaid, as a female mermaid. So take that as it resonates with you. But the guardian of hearts is a very giving, loving energy. He's also very understanding of others and his emotions as well so he's the ruler of his emotions he understands them but he doesn't repress them so this is a call for you to be more understanding to look at the emotional aspects of the situation this may be someone in your life as well that you're dealing with the king of cups somebody with those character traits but otherwise i'm just seeing it as you as being very open-hearted and understanding of those around you and of situations that arise. So a really nice healing energy and open-heartedness and just keeping your emotions in check but not repressing them either. Okay, so let's see what we can get from the Lightseer's Tarot now for you. Pisces, please. So this could, as I say, be a love partner in your life as well, for some of you, if it's not you. We've got the Two of Wands. Judgment. And the Page of Cups. Underneath the deck, we've got the Seven of Wands. Followed by the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. And then we have the World card. Hope you can see those. Okay, so... This looks really good. So starting off with the Two of Wands, this is all about planning something for your future. It could mean that you are making travel plans, plans to travel somewhere. And then for others of you, it could mean that you are planning on extending your business in some way, your career. So moving it to another level here. And you planning on how you're going to do that. It does, for a lot of you, indicate travel, there's an empty house there. Perhaps she's packed up her things. We've got the little world. And for some of you, you may be making plans to travel somewhere. Okay, so just take that as it resonates with you. Then we have the judgment card. So this could be something coming back from the past that you thought was over, but it is coming back for you to relook at it and let it go. It's also about awakening, a big awakening to your true self, letting go of all the masks and awakening to your true and beautiful self. Letting go of all those past things that no longer serve you and 
having some form of spiritual awakening there. As I say, awakening to your true self there and letting go of those things from the past, those character traits or whatever it may be within you. It could be past events, past people as well. But I am seeing a spiritual awakening for a lot of you. Waking up to your true self here. Then we have the Page of Cups. So another Pisces energy. This could be someone younger than you. A child in your life for some of you. For others of you, this is messages of love. Somebody opening up their heart to you. It doesn't have to be romantic love. It could be with the King of Hearts here. But otherwise, it is just... Either you opening your heart, perhaps after the spiritual awakening, being much more heart-based, or this could be somebody else in your life that is perhaps sending you messages of love in some form of another. He's also very creative. There might be some new creative project that you're starting here. He's very much a dreamer, very creative very open-hearted, all that type of thing. So it could really be your energy there, or you could, as I say, be dealing with someone like that. Or it could be some form of message of love coming in for you. Then we have the Seven of Wands, and this is a lot of people coming at you at once, wanting your attention. And there you can see she's just in her bubble meditating. So you need to find some time away from all these things that are coming at you and put yourself in that bubble so that you're protected and stay centered within yourself. So if there are a lot of people wanting your attention, just make sure you are very centered and calm within yourself there so that you can handle all these things coming at you. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles, so a beautiful card to get. This is a lot of wealth. It's a lot of security and stability as well. For some of you, this might be a family business that you are in. And for others of you, this is just creating that secure and stable home life stability within your business and as I say it's just really really huge wealth and a lot of harmony amongst family members or community there so absolutely beautiful card it is the pinnacle of success then we have the world card so there seems to be some form of cycle that you are completing here something in your life a project at work some form of study perhaps for some of you it can also indicate travel so for some of you you may be traveling overseas with the world card here but for others of you it is just completing that cycle and moving into something new so you're completing a really big cycle here and there's going to be a beautiful new beginning there for you so this is a successful completion of something Okay, so let's see what we can take from this deck now, just to get some more clarity for you. Okay, we've got the Daughter of Stone, so this is the Page of Coins in the traditional deck. So this is some form of really good news coming in for you. It's either to do with your finances, with your health, your home, anything in the material world. It could also be some form of financial offer coming to you, an opportunity. It could be a new job, a new financial, uh, a new project that is going to be financially beneficial to you. You've got two sort of young energies there so you could be dealing with a child there for some of you doesn't have to be also with this ten of pentacles it's a lot of family support so you could be getting a lot of support from your family there especially if 
you've got a lot of things coming at you there you may need that family support okay so as i say the princess of stones could be some form of message coming in for you that is some form of financial opportunity or just some really good news coming in for you wow then we have the queen of stones which is the queen of coins so you've got going from the princess of stones to the queen of stones so your finances are really improving and we've also got the ten of coins here so a huge improvement in your finances you could you could be dealing with this this could be a mother and a daughter as well with the mother and the daughter of stones there the mother of coins the queen of coins is a self-made queen she's worked really hard to get to her position in life and she can now enjoy the little luxuries of life or quite a lot of luxuries actually with the queen of coins there she's also very nurturing so it, she's very motherly and she loves to nurture those around her nurture her family um likes to have dinner parties and nurture people with food that kind of thing beautify her home she's very down to earth so i really like that and you could be dealing with someone like that or this could be you as well then we have the chariot card so a beautiful card to get this is having a strong willpower to move in the direction that is going to bring you victory so it's a card of victory it's also a card of fast movement so moving forward really quickly to get to a goal there or a destination again it could indicate travel we've got a lot of cards of travel here so you very well could be traveling somewhere but for others of you it's just being in charge of your life and knowing with clarity the direction that you're going in okay Let's see what else we can get for you the chariot can also indicate a vehicle so you may be getting a new vehicle or Traveling in the car a lot for some of you. Okay, we've got conflict coming out, the five of wands. So for some of you, this could indicate petty arguments as well. It could be a conflict within yourself. It could also be competition in the workplace that you're facing. Okay, so just take that as it resonates again in your life. But usually they're just small conflicts. They're not huge things. They're things that can be resolved. Okay. Then we have the Daughter of Wands in the East. So this is the Princess of Wands. Again, another child energy, younger energy. So this definitely could be a child in your life. We've got that directly underneath the mother as well. So this is someone who could be a fire sign. Doesn't have to be. But she or he is someone who is really overexcited has got a lot of energy a lot of creativity and they literally just want to go 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 so a lot of action taking place with the princess of wands a very overexcited a very enthusiastic energy there again this could be you feeling this excitement and being really enthusiastic to go out there and again, it could be someone in your life. Then we have the Ten of Wands, which is called oppression. So with the Ten of Wands, this could mean that you're quite overburdened with responsibilities. If you are going away, you could literally be packing up your home and that's the luggage that you're carrying. But for others of you, it's just feeling like you've got a lot of responsibilities on your shoulder. So perhaps you need to delegate some of these responsibilities just to lighten the load. 
but it is the Ten of Wands, so you are almost at your destination. You have harvested these ones, so they are beneficial in your life. You are now carrying them to the destination, and you're really almost there and almost ready to put down these responsibilities in your life. And then we have the Strength card. So this is having the strength to carry these ones and as I say, you're almost at the end ready to put them down, but you have got the strength to overcome any obstacles that are in your life, any conflicts that you may be going through. It's also about acting calmly in the face of fear or, as I say, in the face of conflicts, not letting that sort of animalistic side of us get the better of you. So really... Being able to stay calm, as does the guardian of hearts. He acts with love, he's calm, he's in charge of his emotions, and the strength card is coming out to say you will have the strength to overcome any fears, any conflicts, any oppression that you might be feeling, and Act with courage and with love. So not doing things through force, but with gentleness and with love, as I say. Okay, so it's come out upright. So you are going to have the strength to overcome any fears that you may have. So that's looking really good. Let's see what else we can get now from this little deck. So Pisces, please, what else do they need to know? Sorry about the noise in the background. I don't know if you can hear it. Eight of Wands. Beautiful. So the Eight of Wands is things happening really quickly for you. Again, it's another card of potential travel. So you very well could be planning a trip somewhere. It's also about fast communication back and forth. So a lot of communicating going on, answering messages, emails, all that type of thing. But it's a really positive omen. It's positive communication. It's moving you in the right direction. So you really are going in the right direction here, whether it is travel or through communication. It could mean that you're doing a lot of communication in your career as well within your business. Okay, so really positive, beautiful card there. Then we have the Three of Wands, another card of travel. You can see the little ship in the background, and he's waiting for his ships to come in. So if this is to do with a career, then you're waiting for the rewards um, from the hard work that you've put into something. Again, a very positive omen that something is going to be coming in for you really quickly. For some of you, as I say, it's another card of travel. So some of you may very well be traveling somewhere or planning on traveling somewhere. This could also indicate that someone is traveling to see you, perhaps from overseas. Okay, so take that as it resonates. But these two cards are really positive omens. That success is coming in for you. So let's see what else we can get. Pisces, please. Oh, my word. Okay. The, you've got the Ten of Cups coming through. Virgo also had the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So this is really, really beautiful. You've got a lot of harmony within a family setting, within relationships. You've got a lot of wealth coming in for you. There's the castle in the background. The rainbow, which indicates some form of transformation. And very happy relationships, harmonious relationships. So not only have you got this emotional stability, you're at the pinnacle of these beautiful emotions, but you've also got the security and the stability of the Ten of Pentacles. You're getting in great wealth. But both of these cards also indicate very loving harmonious relationships 
So as I say, for some of you, it could be a love relationship. But for others of you, it's just harmony in all relationships, particularly family relationships. So, I mean, that's absolutely beautiful with the Ten of Cups there and the Ten of Coins. So I'm loving that for you. So much happiness, so much harmony and a huge amount of wealth. For some of you, this could be a family member that you're either traveling to or that's traveling to you as well. Take that as it resonates. Then we have the Knight of Swords. So this is a message coming in really, really quickly. Again, another card of fast communication. It could also mean that you're traveling somewhere at great speed here. But for others of you, it's just messages coming in that you need to answer really quickly or you need to send messages out really quickly. Do things as they come in and don't procrastinate anything. And also with the Knight of Swords, make sure you've got that clarity of mind when you are replying to anyone. So if there is some form of conflict going on, just be careful to answer in a really calm, emotionally mature way. So as I say, if messages come in, you need to respond to them straight away. It indicates a lot of movement as well. So there seems to be something happening really quickly for you. It's again, as I said, communication, new ideas coming in for you, words being exchanged. Um, and again, you've just got to be careful with the Knight of Swords that they aren't, it's not cutting communication, that it's more loving communication. Alternatively, this could be someone coming in to give you these messages. So don't respond if they are quite sharp messages. Don't respond back in the same way. Have that emotional intelligence to respond really calmly. But for others of you, it just means a lot of communication, a lot of words being spoken, and a lot of movement taking place really quickly. And responding, I see, to a lot of these messages and things that are going on with you could also indicate family that you're communicating with here but doesn't have to be it could also be within your business or career so i think let's take let's take an atlantis card now for you so this is a really positive positive reading you have got a few conflicts petty arguments you've got uh this feeling of being overburdened, but you're almost at the end, ready to put your burdens down, ready to complete some project. You've got the world card there, so there is some form of completion taking place. You have got the strength to deal with all these people that are coming at you, that want things from you, and it really just looks like you're in a really heart-based spiritual healing energy here. And able to control your emotions so I really like this for you and there's a lot of travel cards so let me know in the comment section if any of you are traveling anywhere and if not let me know if it's resonating with you okay we've got education coming out for you so the message is learn or teach. Drawing this card suggests that you open yourself to new learnings by relaxing and absorbing information rather than in the old, logical, structured way. Alternatively, it may be time for you to teach others. In this case, draw from your own wisdom and not books. Open up to learn, then spread the knowledge. So there you go, you could be learning something new or teaching something to others there. So let's get a color card now for you, just to finish off this reading. So one last message for our Pisces Collective, please. Okay, 
you got the green angel, which is all about balance and harmony. So let's read that one from the book. Green is the colour that is neither hot nor cold. It is perfect balance. Mother Nature has chosen green as her face to the world. Her green heart reflected to all beings on the planet through green fields and forests. What area of your life would you like to create balance in? Your work, relationships, finances or maybe your health? Call on the presence of the green angel to calm you and help you work from your heart space, which is our king of hearts here, to make all the changes you desire. She will also help you find lost items. Spending quiet time in nature, surrounded by green trees and plants, will instantly rejuvenate your energy levels. You need your own space now. Create a place and time that is just for you, where you can feel balanced and harmonious, even if it means putting a do not disturb sign on the door. So I see there is going to be a lot of busyness going on with you with all this communication and a lot of fast movement. But you've got the seven of wands underneath there, which was you in that bubble. So you really need to create some time and space away from all these things and to just sit in your heart space you're going to have a spiritual awakening there. So I really like this energy for you. I hope it's helped somebody out there. Please don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful. And I'm sending you so much love. And I will see you all again in the next one. Bye.